All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to add an event to your course calendar. The first step is to get yourself to the course that you want to be adding the event to. Once that course is loaded, you will go over here to the right hand side to the upcoming events block. You can go ahead and click on new event. Once the next page opens up, you have to pay particular attention to the type of event that you're going to be adding. If you choose user, this means you're adding an event that only will appear in your calendar, not in the course calendar. So this will be only an event for you, the teacher. No one else will see it. So if you want to be adding an event for all the enrolled students, you need to be making sure that you choose course. And then once this is done, this will then appear on every single enrolled student's um, calendar that is in your course. After you have chosen that, give your event a title and an appropriate description and scroll down and give it the date. You can type in the date manually here or you can go ahead and choose a date from the calendar. I'm going to choose next Friday. Once you've done that, you have the option to decide how long you want that event to happen. Without duration means it's like a one-off, one-day event. Until allows you to manually choose how many days you want that event to uh, take over or how many days you want that event to happen. And you also have the option of how many hours or minutes you want that to happen. We're just going to choose without duration. You also have the option to have that event repeat over a certain number of weeks. So let's say you have something happening every Friday for an entire month. So you want to have that happen uh, for the next uh, consecutive four Fridays in a row. You have that option as well. Once you've decided on all of your settings, go back up and double check that you have selected the right kind of event. If you are a teacher of that class, you will have the option of user and course. And if you want the students enrolled in your course to see the event, make sure you have course selected. Once you're happy with everything, go down and click on Save Changes. The next page that you see will be a summary of that particular event. You will see the title as well as the description that you typed up. You can also double check that you're using the correct course up here by checking the drop down list where it'll show all of your courses. You also have the option if you find that you've made a mistake, you can go back and click on the gear here and that will take you back to the event and allow you to edit its contents. And of course, if you've made a mistake on a particular day or you decide that you no longer want to have the event, you can just click X and delete it. You'll notice over here on the monthly view, if everything is done correctly, you will see it showing up in your course calendar. And to uh, further check that, you can go over and click on the month itself. And once that opens up the monthly view, you can see that the event is there. And if you mouse over it and click on it, it will again take you to the title and description of that particular event. So that's it. Have a good day. That's how you add an event to your calendar.